So there are some tests that uh, they can perform on the newborn to assess and usually for um, central nervous system functioning. And these would test reflexes. It would test, um, basically, there's five different dimensions, and I'm going to go through them. The major one is the APGAR scale. Your book talks about it. Are you familiar with the APGAR scale? All right, so the APGAR scale, I'm going to go through some of these, and I'll show you, um, again, I have a couple of clips here. So we're going to look at assessing the newborn, um, what the actual APGAR scale is. There's another one, too, that I'll go through. The newborn's reflexes is where I'll show you some clips on the uh, actual reflexes themselves. The newborn states and perception and learning. And we probably won't get to perception and learning until later on, probably not in, even until next week. So the APGAR index, it would actually go through these five dimensions. So heart rate, of course, uh, measures respiration, uh, muscle tone, the reflexes, and skin tone. Now I'm going to show you how this is scored in a moment. I just want to go through um, the dimensions first. This is pretty basic, and all children would be scored on these five um, various categories. And they are given a rating of 0 to 2 on each one of these. So the maximum score you could get would be 10. Most children don't score 10. Uh, most children score around 7. And I actually have I think the stats here on that. Uh, you, don't have to know, you don't have to know that, but just I don't want to say something and not qualify it. Um, Yeah, seven or more um, is, again, good physical condition. But again, most children don't get 10. So seven, seven to eight would be the norm. Um, so seven or more is good physical condition. Uh, four to six would be indicating, of course, special attention might be required. And then three or less, clearly life-threatening, right? So that's usually how they are scored um, on the APGAR. Because it's just going through basic um, dimensions, there's another one called the Neonatal Behavior Assessment Scale, or the NBAS. And this one looks more at organization of behavior, if you will, not simple reflexes or breathing or respiration um, or heart rate, but actually attention and social responsiveness. So how, how is a child's alertness? How is their attention level? Um, how is their muscle tone and their physical movement? Are they very limp and lax, or are they able to like kick and uh, you know follow a mobile? Uh, they're alert. Are they alert all the time? Or are they constantly just you know gaze around randomly? And of course, response to stress. Are they very very difficult to console once they are distressed, or is their temperament you know normal? Children are going to cry, of course, but is there something not quite right about their response to stress? And even the way they cry. Um, can be an alert to their central nervous system. There's one type of a disorder um, called cri de chat, and these particular children have a cry like a, like a cat, um, and it's very um, unusual, and it can actually evoke negative interactions with the parents, so it kind of, um, you know, is this type of uh, interaction between the child and the parent, it is negativity, because the, ch the parent doesn't, can't get used to the way the child is crying. So this particular scale will measure more of these organized types of behaviors, okay? So I'm going to show you the APGAR scale here on the next slide and just show you how they are um, rated on these scores of two. So again, pulse, breathing, muscle tone, reflex, response, and color. And right here, that would be skin tone, okay? Now down here, it's got a little qualifier um, for non-whites. The alternative test for color would be, of course, to test the palms and the soles of the, of the feet just to look for um, you know, the color blood flow, really what you're looking for, oxygen levels. So they could do that as an alternative to, to skin color. So um, as you can see, the higher the score, the better the functioning. So pulse absent, breathing absent, not good. Um, limp muscle tone, so you lift the child's arm and it's just kind of very limp, right? Um, reflex response, no response to a pain prick or to light. Again, that's not good. And again, the color is blue or pale, indicating possibly hypoxia or lack of oxygen. Um, so that, again, is life-threatening. Up here, and as you can see, one and two, and I won't go through them all. It's kind of common sense. Um, heart rate is slower, regular. Um, some flexion of the extremities, but still on the limp side. Reflex response, they grimace, but they don't cry. A child should cry when you actually perform these kinds of reflexes um, or stimulation. And body is pink, the extremities are blue, again, indicating circulation problems. Should be completely pink, should be crying vigorously when you, you know, stick a pin uh, in their heel or a, pin, a, a heel prick. 
um, active motion of the arms and the legs should be uh, you know, evident right from birth. And again, they're breathing. Um, a strong cry is, you know, again, healthy lungs. And again, the pulse more than 100. So these are all, again, ways that they would score the child um, to give you an index of their basic central uh, nervous system.